Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I did promise you in my last video that I would show you how I set up the marker flares to go off when the helicopter got to a specific zone uh, and how to turn those marker flares off when it entered another zone and got closer to the, the units. So I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, let's start by setting the rules for the trigger by clicking on there. And as you can see, I've set the, the three elements up already. I usually put these in sequential order uh, it makes life a little bit easier when you're mission building. So let's go to the first, fla uh, the first flag, which is a one-time action. So the type is once. I only want it to happen once. I've named it flag flares so that I know what it is. Um, and then there's no event. Now basically what I want to happen is when the helicopter flies into the marker flares on zone, I want that unit there to start producing flares. The way to do that is go to the drop down unit inside zone. Now I use unit inside zone because it's often uh, more beneficial than part of grouping zone or coalition in zone. Uh, it tends to uh, work more frequently than the others do. Don't know whether that's a bug or not but it's just my personal opinion. Um, right let's go down to the unit. The helicopter, I named it SAS Ammo Delivery Flight, so I selected that. And the zone that I want the flares to be activated on is Marker Flares On, so that's the zone that I selected. I then go to the Actions and created a flag in the drop down zone, Flag On, and the flag that I wanted on was Flag 1. As you can see, you can change those as you wish. So what's this actually doing? Well, I'm telling the mission that when the helicopter's in that zone, I want that flag activated. And that flag will turn on the flares in the next trigger. So let's move on to that next trigger. Now this trigger, I've set to a continuous action because what I want to happen is I want the flares to be continually launched until the helicopter gets into the marker flares off zone. So what I did I set it to a continuous action. If you only wanted one flare from that unit you could set that to once. But I like a continuous action so that I can see the flares and get a tally on the, the area that I'm going to land at. I've called it marker flares on so I know what it is again without any event and what I've said here is flag one if it's true in other words if flag one is activated then there'll be a signal flare on a specific unit so simply select flag is true and set it to one because we set flag one as the trigger now I want a signal flare on the unit. So you go down to the drop down box and you can scroll down to signal flare on unit. Now it's unit 38. What I usually do is I name the units so that I, I, I know what I'm talking about. Um, but I knew that that was unit 38. If we go here, as you can see, the unit name is unit 38. What I would usually do is copy and paste that and then paste that into there and it's the SAS team so I, I know which unit I'm selecting. As you can see now that I've changed the name there it's changed the name here as well which is quite cool. So I select the unit SAS team there's another drop down here you can have green, red or orange or white flares I prefer white myself and you can send it off on a bearing north east south or west uh, I keep it at zero so that means it should fire the flares off to the north and that's the second trigger set up the third and final trigger is basically to turn off the flares fired by that unit when my helicopter enters this zone 
So I've called it Marker Flares Off. It's a one-time action. And I need to tell it when the helicopter's in there to turn off the flares. So Unit Inside Zone is selected again. The helicopter is selected again, so you select the name of the unit, which is SAS Ammo Delivery Flight. And the name of the zone is Marker Flares Off. And I've selected that one. Now you need to tell it what you need to do when that helicopter is in that zone, and it basically is turn the flag off. So in the drop down, select flag off, and the flag that started it was flag one, so I'm saying turn flag one off. And that's the very simple process, and it's all set up, and I'll show you that working in the mission now. Have it there are the flares when I get a little bit closer they should turn off there we go the flares are off <laughs> Bunk, bunk, bunk.